everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Patricia I'm an artist and illustrator if you happen to stumble up here I'm gonna do a day vlog today is January 18 I have a few tasks to do around in the studio so I thought hey let's film it <laughs> I used to do a lot of vlogs at a certain point I didn't end up doing many but for that part of time I did quite a few and I kind of miss it because I really enjoy doing that type of format. In my goals and resolutions video that went up before this one I said that I would like to do videos this year that I enjoy going back into YouTube trying to do the things that I enjoy doing. I know I don't have many followers so I probably should be focusing in producing things the algorithm likes but as I get back into it I will rather focus on things that I enjoy instead of things that, you know, please the algorithms. So today I'm gonna film around a few tasks that I have to do. I'm showing you the back of my studio, which is not a normal plane. It's really dark, but actually I'm gonna start with showing you around the studio so you can see the reality. Sometimes, you know, studios look way too neat for reality to be true. And I have a few things going on. They, I thought I will show you around. Also, I uploaded like a studio tour. It was very old, it was re-uploaded in a reel a few weeks ago and I thought oh my god it looks so different so I thought it would be nice to show an updated version it's it's a mess because I have things going on that I'm gonna tell you during this video but let's go let me show you around and then I'll start telling you what I want to do for today Okay, so I'm gonna start in the back of my studio, which is the unshown corner. Whenever I have things going on, I shove them back here and I only record the pretty part. Well, it's not really pretty because this is never super ordered, but it looks better when you just show that part, <laughs> the, the camera pretty part. So here's what's going on here in the back. Here's the door to my studio, the rest of the apartment is there and here in the corner I usually put stuff, big stuff then that needs to go somewhere. So for example if I'm packing for a convention it will go here on the floor and it's just because I have more space. This box is not mine but we don't have that much space in the apartment so things kind of pile up. This box is from my boy boyfriend's PC monitor and it's huge and it's kind of delicate to move so we don't want to throw the box away but we don't have anywhere to put it so it's a mess um let's start here so you can see that i have here the ironing station and this is because i'm sewing something i decided to leave my watercolor here i'm gonna go into this in a second but basically you can see here on the floor i have this this is kind of like a clothing rack that i use for the conventions so i'm always aiming at ways to make the conventions go faster when you set up so i'm actually preparing <laughs> this piece of fabric here to go into that clothing rack like pretty much automatically so you just like pop it in there so I'm sewing let me see where's the corner I'm sewing here I'm sewing this corner so it goes sort of like there we go this should slide into the bars and will stay tidy and then I can prop up here the tote bags that I'm selling this fabric is bended in my suitcase with the tote bags and then when we arrive it's just slide them into the bars and that's it so these two chairs that you're seeing here this one I keep here it was my old chair because I use it whenever my business partner and friend comes along or whenever any friend comes along that wants to paint with me or something so these I keep here for that this I keep here for handiness because it helps me climb up in case I need to reach up any of the taller parts of my wardrobe this was in the house when my parents bought it so it was just an old stool the ironing station right now has a painting a commission where we're gonna start the day with this but this is gonna stay here until I finish sewing that because I don't know if you've ever sewn anything but it's pretty useful to have an iron close by to just mark up the, the things that you're sewing and all and make them more easy to manage this bookcase that you're seeing back there is never fully ordered a lot of the times it has the things that I'm taking on the conventions except for the book rack there and the sketchbook slash book rack there so other than that we have our my printing station here as you can see there's like products printing some things this cleaning rack because I'm cleaning at the same time that I'm sort of doing things my printer this is new my mother-in-law gave it to me for my birthday she was so sweet it helps me a lot organizing but I still haven't fully got everything organized as I want to so I'm sort of redoing everything and that's why this is even more of a mess than it normally is because 
whenever you want to reorder things you have to pull out things so it's kind of a mess as I said in my previous video I've ordered this shelf and this shelf over here I've also reordered this one over here with old sketchbooks and things um, this is still in the works this is things that I have to organize but I'm putting there for now basically have that one left which is usually left for a lot of these things but right now they're very messy and this one too I want to sort of make into something like this so I have products and things here on hand instead of all that mess because this shelf always ends up being dumping ground and I don't want that and I also want to use that one more this is actually mixtures to make paper handmade paper anything that I don't know where to put goes in there and is messy I also have a few boxes up there sometimes I use those for conventions whenever things don't fit up in suitcases or anything over here is my working space which is currently a little bit of a mess just basically because i'm painting so as you can see i have some sewing supplies here then my painting brushes because i was painting yesterday and my what kuretake watercolor box and there i always have a pencil case and some notebooks or maybe my bullet journal or something to keep up with uh, to-do lists and things that usually I use scrap of, scraps of paper for. This is my another dumping ground plus cutting station whenever I need to use my silhouette. Um, this is the Portrait 3 and it's been really useful, it's been really great. I'm super happy that I made the investment. It took me a while to figure out how it worked but once it did it was great. Well hello, I've morphed into a cat. My cat took over my seat while I was adjusting the camera, so hi again! Now that I've shown you my studio, and I wanted to be video because I always feel bad about having a messy studio and it's just really hard to figure out how to keep all the stuff that us artists have like products and how to order them also I have a convention in literally a month in a month today I'll be in a convention it's pretty big and I always have to set up for it so at the same time that I want to order everything I also know that a lot of those things that I use to order my studio I have to take off for the convention so I'm kind of like putting it off Oh, I wanted to visit. So as much as I want to order stuff, I'm also like a little bit on the fence, um, trying to order little by little so I know where I want to put stuff and clean up a little bit, but not exactly like placing everything down. Um, so some of the things that I have here on the desk, for example, are things for the convention. Some of the prints and things that I have around and things that I'm printing are for that too. Now let's start with what I'm gonna do now and I'm gonna put part of this voiceover over me painting. And basically I'm starting with this commission that I have. As you can see it's Ponyo from Studio Ghibli. If you don't know, well now you know. I had this couple commission me a couple of Studio Ghibli pieces for their nursery. Uh, alongside with an already existing piece. So they found out a really old watercolor painting of mine, they liked it and they want that and this to, to print and to have in their nursery. So it's a kind of a digital commission, I'm gonna send them the files over and I was actually gonna draw it digitally but I don't know, I just saw the image, it was quite simple and I sort of been wanting to jump back into watercolors at least from time to time and they actually wanted this sort of faded transition in the borders because it's the same style that I have in my older piece so I thought that would be easier to achieve at least for me in traditional at least for this one. The second commission that they asked me is from Kiki, it's just a scene from the movie changing a couple of things. Why I decided to record this day vlog is basically because I'm all day gonna be doing artsy things and I thought that that's sort of the most fun things to record for a vlog. So basically I'm gonna start my day by finishing up this painting, this part of the commission. I don't think I'm gonna do the two commissions today, I think I'm gonna focus on finishing this one today, but for now I'm thinking at least have this commission finished this week and the next one next week so I can pull that out and focus on that convention next. Um, and also I don't want to keep my clients waiting for long. And then what I want to do in the probably in the afternoon because it's already a little bit late on the day I've been cleaning and organizing a little bit I've been cleaning the floor of my studio you know cleaning my cats a little a little bit of the kitchen all of that stuff you know so in the afternoon what I want to do is produce a few of the stickers and the things that we are doing so this convention that I told you about is pretty big here in Spain it's one of the biggest um, they do it in in a lot of cities but here in Madrid and in Barcelona are usually the biggest of the 
year there are the biggest cities so they usually are the biggest conventions too so i am going but my friend and business partner is going too and we're taking our new stationery business with us in like sort of conjunction she's taking her stuff she makes jewelry with polymer clay she makes paper things she's really talented show it out to her i'm gonna leave her links to and our stationery shop of course and we're taking our stationery shop but there we're trying to focus on not doing anything copyrighted because this is the japan weekend and what happens with the japan weekend is that you can actually take fan art with you it's allowed it's even encouraged you know but in our stationery shop because we're on etsy uh for now we're not doing anything copyrighted, so what we're doing is sort of doing like a Japanese collection with some sweets, typical sweets with some elements like the kokeshi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, those are like wooden dolls, traditional wooden dolls, and they have like uh, several meanings, some of them being like love and friendship. And we thought it was pretty appropriate because we we're also going very near to Valentine's Day. So yeah, we wanted to put out something that's Japan related, but not exactly like copyrighted or anything so i'm gonna be working on that we already have the designs we work together in the designs and in the collections and then we put together our stationery together we divide the work and we handmade a lot of the stuff so far we've only printed out a few things and there have been like bookmarks or things with the gold foil that we can't do of course so what i would like to do today is prepare as many products from for that collection as possible because i think for next week we could have it almost all done except for things perhaps like notebooks we also make handmade and hand binded notebooks so that usually takes a little bit more time but at least the things that we are printing and you know stickers sticker sheets things like that i want to have out and that's basically the plan for today if i can squeeze in some sewing just i'm hand sewing it because i don't have like a, a sewing machine uh, my mom has but she doesn't live nearby so i'm doing it here also because i want to keep measuring make sure everything is perfectly fitted uh, so I'm slowly doing it whenever I want a little break from something else. I'm gonna leave you to see some painting footage hopefully and I'll take back it with you in a little bit.
again. You might see a tail waving around. She just climbed into my lap. Bye. She's going back down to her bed, which is down there. So hi, I'm here with my afternoon coffee. So yeah, I just made an afternoon coffee. It's five in the afternoon. We're about to run out of light. Recording a little update and telling you. So indeed, in the morning we were able to finish the Ponyo watercolor painting on time right before lunch actually and this is how it looks like I'm quite happy with the result I had a little bit of a struggle by the end I don't know if it was I was moving around um, a case where I had washi tapes stick so I can like kind of reuse it and I don't know if you can see around here but there's like um, a little spot and I don't know if it was because of that a box with washi tapes or what but there were like little black dots around my desk that seemed like paint and they all seemed to fall around the painting somehow and they were really tiny so sometimes I didn't even saw them and suddenly I was applying paint and a little black black or blue dark blue I'm not really sure will appear in the painting thankfully I don't feel like anything except that spot that I showed you was affected and that I can clean up which is quite nice but yeah, it was a little stressful. Even like cleaning my desk, I kept finding those. Look, there's more here. Uh, even cleaning the table, they were like leaving marks and I kept cleaning and they kept like smudging around. Well, the plan now for the afternoon, as I told you, was to clean up some stickers and products for my shop. But what I'm also gonna do, because I have to turn on the printer anyway, is scan this because I am gonna do a few adjustments digitally. Um, I'm gonna like color white the eyes because I basically ignore those little details so it was easier for me to just quickly do this i think i might also like fix any little errors clean up the scene a little bit maybe um change up a little bit the colors if i find them if i find it necessary in any part i don't know if i'm gonna do that today because i can get caught up in things like that so if not i will scan it at least i'm not gonna send over the final result today because i still have another painting to do so i'm completely okay with it just being scanned and ready for me to prep but i might do it like later in the afternoon if i feel like it but right now what i'm gonna do first with my afternoon coffee is just clean up those stickers i also have to print out some more pages of notepads so we can stick them together um, and i'm gonna do that because i'm by the end of the plan of my printer it's renewing this weekend i think so i'm gonna spend as many pages as i can I, i've talked about this i have an hp printer and they have the hp instant tank service which basically lets you pay a fee a month and you have a certain number of pages and then whatever you don't spend they accumulate until a certain number of pages depending on the plan you choose right now i'm, I'm I'm paying I think 5.99 euros I upgraded it for the next one because I have an, a convention in a month and I know that we will be printing in this couple of months and I have 100 pages and up to 300 I think accumulated if I'm not wrong and I had like a little less than 200 accumulated so I'm spending a little bit of those to make sure we have enough notebooks printed out and notepad not notebook and I'm printing one more of each notepad that we have in the shop new so we can have at least like three or four for in stock right now because we're like we're doing small quantities because we handmade everything ourselves and we don't have that volume of sales right now so we handmade a few just in case so we don't accumulate so much stock in case some don't sell so come along with me let's print out some things and let's uh, fix up some others <laughs> So update, it's been like an hour, less than an hour and a half and we've already, I'm saying we, um, you and me, you've accomplished things with me. So um, printing wise, I've printed the three notepads that we were missing. So, so far this one, this one and this one. Lately as I'm printing full bleed, can you see that it goes to like up to the borders. My printer is a cheap printer, it's not a super fine art printer or anything. So I realized that it does get tired when I do full 
no bleed printing. Like from time to time just uh, it misprints one page and sometimes it goes up until here but sometimes it just messes up the whole page. So what I'm doing is printing three or four pages and then waiting five minutes or so and then printing three or four pages and so. So it gets a little bit tiring. I've done this is 15 pages so I've been doing this like slowly. It prints really fast. So I don't know if it's because of that, that it prints fast and it gets tired because it's printing up until the borders and it's making like an extra effort. I don't know. The thing is, it works really well. It prints the colors really nicely and I'm happy with it. So I'm just gonna give it time. It doesn't really matter because I'm also doing other things. On an extra note, I finished preparing some of the kakeshis that we have. I'm sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I finished preparing them and um, I was also like finishing up an extra one. We have these round kakeshi that's so cute. So I finished this kakeshi up and I was just creating a few headpieces while I waited. So I can make it a little bit different because we've decided to do that one with three different colors. So to change it up a little bit, I changed the hair for one and then on the other ones I'm gonna add accessories and turn it around and like change the color of the kimono and the print and all. So it, it's kind of the same but a little bit different. So yeah, basically so far I have the stickers, most of them, like the big ones that we have to print. I have this kakeshi ready so I'm moving it onto the computer and I'm gonna put over some footage while I prepare those stickers as well. Those are also gonna be bookmarks, like magnetic bookmarks. They're gonna be so so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work that's in the computer. Uh, so I just wanted to update you to see, to say yay, we've accomplished a few more things today. I'm feeling like really good. Yay! <laughs> Yay us! I'm gonna leave you to some more footage of me doing the stickers. I don't know if you want me to explain some things. I might be able to add some commentary. If you have any questions, you're watching this, you've never prepared stickers in your life, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to help. Also, take into account that if you're using different types of cutting machines, it works differently. For example, I have a Silhouette Portrait 3 my friend and business partner has the quick cut. It kind of is a little bit different with the software and all. Her printers take a bigger paper, so she prints that. And my cutting machine prints up more space. So sometimes we have like to mix and match things to make it work to the best of our abilities, to like make the most of our resources. Because actually the Portrait 3 is supposed to be an A4. It actually, like the borders when it when it's cutting are really tiny in comparison to the Cricut. Like you make a lot more use of your sticker paper and all, which I don't know if you know, but sticker paper is pretty expensive, so that's nice. Um, yeah, anyway, what I mean with this is that it is a process to prepare stickers for different types of cutting machines. If you're cutting them by hand, I did that for years. Um, or if you're just, you know, <laughs> whatever you are doing, if you're outsourcing them. In any case, some of the steps are the same, so I'm gonna leave things up in the screen so you can know what I'm doing. Um, if you have any questions, again, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them in another video. Hi again, last update of the day it is currently 9 p.m. So I'm gonna stop working. I'm actually quite hungry, so I'm gonna see what we're having for dinner. Yeah, I'm really happy with how today went. So I've prepared a couple of bookmarks. I recorded one, but then the other, which was much, much easier. Like for the first one, I was kind of fighting with it. And then I sent it to my business partner and she was like, it looks great. So I stopped messing around with it. Um, sometimes I get in that funk where I get, like keep changing things and it's actually okay in the beginning. Sometimes it's not and it's nice to get like a few variations but but yeah. So I did another one. I'm gonna show it here. I was thinking about showing you the screen but actually it, it never records well when you're recording a screen so I'd rather just put an image here. It probably will be done by the time I edit this. Um, probably will be printed by the time I edit this. Yeah, I'm really happy with what we accomplished today. I accomplished everything that I was hoping for. I actually accomplished a little bit more. This last part of me prepping some files, I was not expecting to having time for it, but I was quite concentrated today, so it worked quite well. Sometimes when I'm pre prepping files and stickers and things for a few hours, like my concentration diminishes as I go. So eventually when I've been doing it for a couple of hours, like I go really slow. But I think today I did well. 
I ended up preparing a bunch of stickers, which um, the same files will be used for a couple of magnetic bookmarks and perhaps like anything else that we can like, once the, the, the sort of sticker uh, file is done, which is a PNG, you can kind of drop it around in certain things like I did with the bookmarks and all. That's something that, you know, helps us further along when we produce the rest of the products. So yeah, that's all for this day's vlog. Yay me for accomplishing all the tasks that I set out to do and I don't know, if you like this sort of day vlog and you want me to do more in the future, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, bye!